What a great afternoon, everybody. My name is Dark, and welcome back to my industry. All right, so today we will be doing some um, more of those designing themed videos. Um, this time we will be creating something that's not exactly useful, but it's just a fun project. That's what it is. So today we're going to be trying to build a well, a power source that are basically if it shuts down there's another power source that will turn on so basically a backup po power source and not batteries we will be um, using a lot of th this battery diode today so yeah I feel like I really want to explore this more because yeah this is the least item I have ever used in my industry all right so let's get going but need to create another map oh my gosh forgot the freaking okay so here we have two sources of coal one to the left and one to the right so I would like to focus on like the steam power for now because um, that is the well the best thing I could think of that well works without experimenting a lot Alright, so first we're gonna have to make a grid for power, which we already have a schematic off. Where is it? This guy, right here. Okay, truth be told, I am not sure how long I can extend this until none of them works anymore. Well, some of them are not working anymore, but as you can see, we are generating 15,000 power. And all we need is just um, seven freaking sources of air blast drills or copper. No, copper. Coal, man. All right, so let's say we have this and then this is self-powering as well. This should be. All right, so they're self-powering and then... Yeah, perhaps we need batteries as well. Okay, so for our theme today is that it's because it's going to be like powering the second one so the backup generator for example this must be completely turned off and when this this gets destroyed this will get powered by these batteries so how do we exactly do that battery power can flow through this block in only one direction but only if the other side has less power stored so since this is like completely zero, meaning if we just do this and connect it, they will immediately power up because um, it will immediately transfer. Hmm. No, not exactly. That's not good. All right. So, how do we brain this out <laughs> or think about this? And how we can transfer all the power only when that thing is destroyed. Oh wow, that actually doesn't work. So connecting these two with basically a battery diode in between doesn't work. Or well, two battery diodes in between does not work. So... Okay, plan one failed. Okay, I, I learned a thing or two from this actually. Um, basically with power nodes, you cannot transfer from batteries at all. Meaning, you can only do this because it only flows one direction. So look at that. We basically transferred, I don't know, a lot of this into here, which is very cool. Okay, so after a couple of explosive testings, I have determined that a thorium explosion, or thorium reactor explosion, will completely, like... Not completely, but almost completely save everything three blocks away from it. And just three blocks, and it's in the dead center of that three blocks. Just like here. So anything anything around here will get destroyed except for these things. So yeah, I suppose we can do something with that. Selective explosion, hmm? Ooh. Holy cow, I've did so much experiments already and I didn't think that 
a switch would actually be that easy in my industry without like some kind of logistic block or logic block on logistics okay we're finally back and I believe this will freaking make everything just work I really hope this works first try all right so basically we have a system here so basically we have to make sure that the steam generators are the ones that are gonna get destroyed and not the air blast drills so for this specific design I suppose if you want to do this um, <laughs> make sure to protect all the air blast drills or all the drills and then that so if these things get destroyed uh, basically it will overflow and since it's still got some like battery in it actually let's just do that just in case right here all right so of course it will overflow and once those things overflow because they have nowhere to go here then it means it's just gonna go all the way here and then go here it will jumpstart this thing I suppose actually no it won't jumpstart anything because of this all right so it will jumpstart this basically make these work and then oh, I figured out how to make basically split a battery con the contents of a battery into two batteries so the way I did that is basically just have one battery full so you see 50,000 and the first one it will give is that it will give like half and then like boom and then this It'll basically give half and half to whichever it gives. So yeah, I just chose 12,499 because that's what I stumbled upon earlier. Alright, so... It will basically charge all this up and save up power until it reaches 12,499. And then, once that's done, it's gonna power this. But then I don't exactly know how I'm gonna... How is it gonna transfer all the power when? Hmm, this is a clever system though, but I would just. <laughs> hmm, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I made sure we have a hefty amount of load before we begin our tests, or else this won't work. So, okay, another rerun. We have this. Once this explodes, it will of course stop powering this, and then this is basically a signal. Basically, I can't think of any method for now that will not require human interaction. But, for example, you were working on something, and let's just say something happens, like um, an explosion. Oh no! And then, boom, everything's gone. You have less power now. Everything's burning. Um, do we have uh, less power, actually? We still have enough power. Let's just say everything got destroyed uh, with another explosion from a boss. And then like... Ah. And like, there. Oh no! Explosions! Oh no! And then everything is burning. And you cannot fathom. And everything got destroyed, for example, including this. And then we wait for a few moments. This will stop working. And you will stop basically powering. Just for the sake of speeding things up, we will like know that something's wrong. And meanwhile, this thing charges up. And now it's charging. Boom. We just saw that. And then we go here and then like, oh wait, does that mean it's already full? Alright, it is full. And then this should have enough power to basically power all of this. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. I feel like that already works on its own. Okay, I feel like it could have been done better if we just simply... Well, pre-powered these water extractors so they would be full. And basically, this just needs coal instantly and it will just receive power. So... Basically, we don't need all of this. 
we literally just have to directly plug it there so all right let's see destroy this for example boom and then all the items go to the other side and we wait yeah we wait yeah we wait and then boom <laughs> there we freaking go and those just stop receiving power now, I suppose. <laughs> I could have done it far simpler. <laughs> A freaking full day. And that's when I thought about just freaking repowering these water extractors up. <laughs> that could have worked. <laughs> I, I am really so good at overcomplicating things, am I not? I know it's a little too complicated, I should have just done it with like remove all this and have this battery powered anyways but as you can see we now have power again it's a little too complicated but I don't really exactly know what good purpose this is other than I don't know just a hobby perhaps on adventure maps in which you're not allowed to build perhaps probably just pre-planned stuff this has no application to like any normal gameplay. Please don't take this for like. <laughs> Please don't give like negative stuff about this because that's not what it's intended intended for for like normal gameplays. So yeah, for basically sc scripted scenarios, you can be like, oh, I see that explode, then do this. You know, if you're planning on making a story, then this could be helpful. So. Yeah, I'm, I actually had so much fun thinking about how to basically utilize this thorium and that three block in between. It won't destroy the block, it'll keep it at nearly full health. Or actually a lot beyond that, at nearly full health. So... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I, I want to make more of this, like, thinking man's stuff you know this is really fun for my industry all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my industry if you guys like the video mission like button and if you love it be sure to destroy the subscribe button into the ground and don't forget to hit that by button so you can turn for the future videos also we have a discord channel and patreon It'd be great if you guys join in so all of us can have a chat and be much greater if you guys support channel via patreon thanks so very much it and i'll see you in the next video Bye-bye!